What's going on, boys and girls? Don't worry. I'm not having some mental breakdown. We're doing Movember. Let's get a quick rating out of 10 for the mustachio. <laughs> I just look weird, man. I hate it. But anyway, that's all the topic of this video. Welcome back, guys, to another Apex Legends mobile video. In this one, we're going to talk about what the hell is happening with the game, where the next beta is, what's going on. So... Let's get into it. Okay, so unfortunately, the Apex Legends Mobile next beta is taken longer than expected to actually reach us. We still haven't received any new official news from Respawn or any of the official social media channels being made. All of the news that I've given you previously was obviously from leakers who have actually been right about the previous four betas. But one thing that did happen is the EA press conference, which happened last week, where we all thought we were going to hear some news about the game's sort of trajectory and the roadmap for the game which we kind of did but i'll let you guys check this out apex mobile is currently in test in multiple countries around the world we never quite know exactly when we're going to get out of test markets but we're very pleased with the progress so far uh, which means we could bring it out earlier but i would say that most of it is really focused on next year which we think is a positive since this year is so strong it will continue to help next year, and I would put Battlefield in that same category. The, the metrics that we're getting out of those games continue to be very strong, and and so we, we continue to be confident about the opportunity around both. So from that, guys, you can see that EA confirmed Apex Legends Mobile will be coming in the next fiscal year. This means anywhere after March 2022. The CEO, Andrew Wilson, mentioned that it could come earlier, but we still have the open beta and the possible soft launch first so it could take a while the predictions are still that the global version will release around april time sort of 2022 so if it does come around april time next year then we can expect the open beta at least before the end of this year so anywhere in the sort of next month and a half apart from the conferences the only other news we have is that there is a chinese beta happening today for apex legends mobile which is invite only as it's private this is most likely the previous beta that we've already played uh, before in the last four betas just for the china players alone but it could also be for the next update for the open beta which we are actually waiting for the chinese beta is running for one month so if that's the case i think it's a safe bet that for the open beta for us would be sometime in december but again that's still a prediction but it's pretty much the closest prediction i can think of and that's actually based on the previous betas but basically before each previous beta there was a chinese Chinese beta to test the game over there and then they released the beta for us in India Philippines and you know Colombia and all of those regions so I think personally again we've got this Chinese beta that's happening today for one month and then we're going to get some sort of open beta in December but again it's still a prediction. So you boys out there saying, you know, Oh, look at this, all these YouTubers giving us fake news, man. Why, why you do this? Why you do this? Shut up, okay? I'm giving you as much news as I know myself and good predictions. And I've been pretty much right this whole year so far. So, back up. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Personally, I don't think Respawn will keep us waiting that much longer since all the previous betas have been, you know, around a sort of a gap of around one to two months between each one. Um, but that's basically it on the next beta for Apex Mobile. Now, a different topic I want to talk to you guys about and sort of throw out there is the comparison between PC and console and the mobile version. If you guys have been playing Apex, they have just released a season 11, which brought in a brand new huge map called Escape. To give you guys some insight, the mobile version will definitely include World's Edge and King's Canyon when it releases globally. So you can expect those two ma maps on the start of Apex Legends Mobile. And after time, they will introduce, you know, Olympus and Escape, but that could take a while. Escape is actually 25% bigger than all three of the maps. So when it comes out to the mobile version, expect a lot of long distance fights and lots of running and it'll probably come out on a brand new game because the map is literally huge now unfortunately that's all of the news we have on apex legends mobile but of course i'll keep you guys up to date on twitter and youtube if anything else comes up in the meantime though we have some incredible games coming out this month coming to mobile pubg new state is the first up releasing globally tomorrow this is good news as it gives us you know something to play and enjoy before the next apex mobile open beta uh, we also also have a slightly different game called Final Fantasy 7 The First Soldier Battle Royale releasing on November.
November 17th, which actually looks incredible. It's a battle royale. It's, it looks similar to Cyber Hunter, if any of you guys played that before. Uh, and it offers something different by using, you know, magic and sort of summoning huge monsters, as well as using weapons. So definitely look out for that and pre-register on the App Store now. I'm going to be playing and showing you guys what that looks like anyway. But unfortunately, again, guys, that is it for this video. I'm, I'm just as frustrated as you guys are, okay? We've been waiting patiently for ages for the game to release. It would make it so much easier for the developers just to make these social channels, just to make give the community a bit more transparency on what the roadmap looks like for Apex Legends Mobile. When are we going to get this next beta? When are we going to get the soft launch? When are we going to get some sort of global beta? Again, you heard in the press conference that all they know so far is they've put some money into it. They've not put a whole lot into the game, but you can see from the game, it pretty much looks ready for global release in my opinion, okay? But they've still got some extra things, obviously, to add. So we're still going to get the open beta first. That's going to test more servers and more regions around the world. And it, it makes it so hard for me to be a content creator, guys, because I'm literally giving you scraps of news in each video. And it, it, it's painful making these sorts of videos when I just want the game because I've got so many different ideas to give you guys. And it's going to be a booming community once the game actually comes out. But unfortunately, that is it for today's video. So I think this will probably be my last news video until we get some sort of solid info because I'm kind of sick again just giving you guys scraps of, of nothing or, or something just to hold on to to keep the community hyped up. So if you guys appreciate that, again, be sure to hit a like and subscribe. And yeah, that's going to be the end of this video. So thank you guys for watching. Comment down below and uh, I will catch you guys in the next video. I'm going to do some gameplay videos. So thank you guys for watching. Peace.